Hello, I'm Tony Botting at Go Engineer. I'm a simulation specialist. In this video, we'll show monitoring the solution and some results. We've started the solver and can look at the solver monitor. This is about four minutes into it. Here's the current step number, shown as time step number six. Remember, for a static analysis, this is pseudo time. The progress bar here shows it is currently checking equilibrium. The total solution time is one unit and it shows the current solution time as 0.63 or 63% of full displacement for this case. It shows the size of the step is 0.32. That's the step size that can automatically be adjusted up or down. It posts the contact iteration number which is the result of searching for nodes that are approaching and contacting other surfaces. It shows the total number of contacts that it has found. These contacts are actually represented by nodes contacting surfaces on opposing components. The equilibrium check iteration step is shown last. If you watch all these numbers carefully, it will begin to make sense as to what is going on in the solution algorithm. Here's an image showing the final step value for displacement. We probed one of the nodes on the rubber ceiling ring and graphed its displacement over the total integration time you can readily observe the nonlinearity of the response of the rubber. You can obtain the closure plate force. If you right click on the results folder, you can choose list contact friction force, probe the underside surface of the closure plate, and click update. You can see there's 162 pounds of reaction force. If you click on the response graph item, you can observe the nonlinear behavior of the reaction force. Here's an animation of all the solution steps. At this point, the analysis runs successfully, so you could proceed to copy the study to a new one. In the new study, you can remesh the model with a smaller average element size to create a finer, more resolved mesh. Also, use the default high quality elements. This process will help to obtain better accuracy. The goal now is to observe convergence in the deformations, stresses, strains, and reaction forces by successively creating a finer mesh. In this video series, we walked through a brief setup, run, and results of the nonlinear rubber with contact analysis shown in the tutorials of the online help.